Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we've got a pretty cool little drone to show you. Uh, here is the box. We found this on Amazon with a funny name. So we will have it linked in the description box below. People at the airfield flying today, yeah! <laughs> Let's take a quick look at everything that comes in the box. We'll fly it and I'll talk about a few of the standout things about this drone. Now, a couple things I'm not going to get out of the box are the four prop guards and the landing gear. Uh, the landing gear, if you're going to fly with the camera, I do recommend that you put those on. But for today's flight, because we're losing our daylight, we're just going to fly without the landing gear. Save a little bit of time from putting that on and we'll gain some flight time by not flying with those. Now, what we're looking at here is a Wi-Fi FPV camera drone. It does have a couple things that stand out from a lot of the competition on the market that make it a little more bang for your buck and really about the same price. Uh, those features are altitude hold, the fact that it does come with a decent looking camera. I find the lens on here to be very interesting. It's got like a big lens hood, so maybe we get better shots on bright sunny days. Can't test that today because it's starting to get a bit dark. It does not come with the iPhone. <laughs> no, no, uh, but you do need a phone or some type of mobile device uh, to fly the FPV. Now it comes with this clamp already installed on here and it is spring loaded. So you press this button and that comes up and you press and hold this little button on the side to push it back down. Let's see if Abby's phone will fit in here. This is an iPhone 6S Plus mm -hmm. with a, an OtterBox on there. So uh, no, it will not. So that's a little disappointing. But if we took it out of the case, it looks like it would fit because it's super close. Pretty disappointing though when the phone won't fit in there. I don't know why they don't measure one of the world's most popular phones um, before they you know, put the clamp out. Now, uh, one thing that goes with that that I really liked that you do not see for phone uh, Wi-Fi FPV kind of things is a lens hood or just a little shadow box. What this does is gives you some shade on your phone if it fit in here on a sunny day. Now, you know, it's not really doing the job right now because- not for my size phone. Right, and my phone as well. I also have a larger sized phone. Uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note. I think we got some fireworks going on up here. That's what I hear. Yeah, cool. And the Note uh, in a Pelican case does not, does not fit in there either. So a little disappointing, but if you have a smaller phone, it'll fit in there just fine. We also have two batteries that come with this. They're 3.7 volts, that's one cell, 500 milliamps, good size battery. That's a good size battery. And uh, it charges on this little USB charger, one at a time, it just plugs right in there. And little Phillips screwdriver, instructions, four spare props. And I like the color of all this, the bright lime green and the black. This is a UDRC, uh, usually a pretty good name brand in the toy grade hobby. So uh, without further ado, let's plug the battery in, get it in the air and see how it does. This is kind of nice with the lens hood. It actually helps hold the phone. So kind of works, <laughs> but everything is labeled, um, which is so awesome on the transmitter and we should already be filming. So I'm gonna hit the auto takeoff button and see if it works. Wow, that's very nice. <laughs> That was actually very, very, very nice takeoff. I like that a lot. I want to land. I want to hit the auto land button. And do that again because I really like that. Abby, push that button. Well, just, they can't see me push the button. Here, you I'll, push I'll the do button. it. This is just amazing. I, I'll be steering it a hair, but no, no throttle control. Watch this. Actually, I'm not even. <laughs> so we're drifting a bit because of the breeze. Uh, just a very slight breeze, but I can actually trim that up too, so let's just trim it. There we go. And that is just a perfect little hover. My Wi-Fi feed is very, very usable for Wi-Fi. I'm pretty amazed at that. Okay, now right there we got a little delay. So when it was really close, it looked really good. Now there's just a tiny bit of delay. This is actually really nice. It's flying extremely well, not touching the throttle. The altitude hold on this is amazing. It's nice and quiet for brushed motors too. Listen, I'll stop talking for a minute.
that drop in altitude was me. I'm just controlling it. I wanted to get a little closer to the camera so you guys could hear it. There's, there's how the camera looks. It's actually pretty good. If this is any indicator of the camera quality, then uh, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I was Happy with watching the footage. So there's us. We're gonna do a, we're doing a DJI Spark selfie automated flyaway. <laughs> Not really. It's a droney. A droney. Whatever. Because you know they came up with that name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really good. It shows the signal strength of the transmitter to the drone. There's telemetry going on there. It also shows on the transmitter, but on my screen, I can see the signal strength. And when I went further away, it showed it dropping. So that's really cool. It has the record time down there. I think you have different uh, rates too, Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to test some other things out before the battery dies. This is a really nice drone. Do you want to test it out? I think you'd really you like it. You test the rates out. You're good at that. Okay, so rates, we're gonna... I hit the rate button. And now we're definitely zipping along a lot quicker. Very nice. Mm, but the transmitter still says 50%. Um, yeah, it does. You're right. Odd. That's weird, but it's definitely zippier. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so it has mode one and mode two. Two different modes. And it tells you on your transmitter what mode you're in. Mode one is docile, which is what we're flying now. Well, what's the 50% mean? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Oh, it's throttle. It's throttle. So as I hold it here, let me just show them so they know it was... Oh! <laughs> forgot that wasn't clipped on. I'm just going <laughs> to set it down. Uh, as we're flying here, hopefully they can see this. Mm -hmm. The 50%, if I increase the throttle, see oh, how it okay. goes up? Cool. And then I decrease. Cool. That's what the 50% was. Okay, now I'm just going to leave your phone on the ground and hopefully it's still recording. Let me check. It <laughs> looks like it drop. is. Looks like it is. Okay, now we also have a flip button. So I'm just going to hit the flip button. Pick a direction. Not a horrible flip. But regained the altitude, lost. didn't it? Regained it, though. Well, yeah, because of the altitude hold. Yeah. So I'll do the... I'll just it's do fine. A it's fine. Flip direction. And it He's loses... trying to show you all the transmitter, but with this lens, it there's loses no way. probably uh, five to ten feet, maybe, roughly, and then it gains it back. So, I mean, not horrible. Return to home? Return to home. Uh, let me push it further away, and we'll test it and see if it works here. Okay, so a little further away. I, this thing flies amazingly well. Seriously, very good. Return to home, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm sorry. I think that was auto land. I apologize, <laughs> I apologize. That was auto land. Um, no, no return to home unless headless mode holding it, maybe? No, there is no, I'm... There's no return to home, there's just headless mode and auto land. Oh, okay. Headless mode, we're in that now. So I'm rotating and I'm pulling it towards me. There's no beeping. No beeping. And it's working really well and there's a blinking light to indicate that we're in headless mode. Cool. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, I'll just walk out here and show you. So I'm holding y'all and now I'm just gonna push away. That's so loud. And it goes away. I'm gonna pull back. And it's coming back. Really good headless mode. I'm going to get out of that now. And I think I'm ready to pass the controls off to you. You're going to love this auto takeoff. I'm just going to do an auto land here. And I'll pass the controls over to you, Abby. All right, auto takeoff. This is Abby flying. Wasn't that really good? So Abby is flying, and there she is out on the field. Find, there we go. It's a really smooth flyer. Very impressed with this. Flips loses a lot of altitude, huh? Rates is that little thing that looks like a speedometer. There, she's in the higher mode two. Yeah, this is this is actually a great little quadcopter. Really impressive. Very impressive. 
nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Altitude hold works amazingly well. Amazingly well. You always gotta like when altitude hold doesn't like hinder the flight performance. Yeah. It definitely does not do that on this one. Yeah. Sometimes with an altitude hold quad. It's like it fights it. Yeah, and it's it's kind of going down a lot as it flies and then it has to regain altitude when you're done giving it direction. Does that mean low battery? I'm guessing so because of your telemetry. Is it auto landing? I think that's a low battery warning coming from the transmitter, which is awesome. I love that. I love that. That gives you enough time to come back and land. So you want to hit auto landing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that's what that is. Um, yeah. Whoops, I'm not getting a landing. That's still filming. All right, nice, Abby. Awesome, this saves right to your phone, which is so cool. Now that's a, that is surprisingly very awesome. Uh, <laughs> overall, everything that's advertised on this works. The only disappointment, and I think we'll just go ahead and get that out of the way, is the fact that a larger phone won't fit here in the phone holder. Now I know a lot of people don't have larger phones, but you know what, a lot of people do. And I think that this is enough of a turn off to some people that uh, if you have a bigger phone like me and Abby, you, you probably would not want this quadcopter. But if you have a smaller phone, this thing is perfect. It has fairly good camera quality. The altitude hold was spot on. Nice and quiet for brushed motors. Just a really nice performance quadcopter for a, uh, an altitude hold Wi-Fi camera drone. Spot on. You could not ask for anything more. You could actually alter this to hold a larger phone. You could get one of those chip clip holders and mount that to your transmitter uh, and then problem solved. Very awesome. You, again, what more could you ask for? Uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll have this linked in the description box down below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.